Hello everyone, my name is Rampage, and I wanted to make a high damage longsword build that people can actually make, so I'm just going to get straight into the video. For the weapon, I'm using the Abyssal Flicker. For the Rampage slots, I recommend that you use the Dora Soul Jewel 3, or a better option would be Anti-Aquatic Jewel 2, Anti-Aerial Jewel 2, Anti-Dragon Jewel 2, or Fanged Exploit Jewel 2, depending on which monster you are hunting. Here's an image that tells you what jewel affects each monster. I did not make this image. The author credited themselves in the image. For the head, I'm using the Kazer Crown X with 3 Grinder Jewel 1s. For the torso, I'm using the Pyra Kadaki male with a Mighty Jewel 2, Critical Jewel 2, and Steadfast Jewel 1. For the arms, I'm using the Baryoth Van Braces X with a Wirebug Jewel 2 and Steadfast Jewel 1. For the waist, I'm using the Rathalos Coil X with a Tenderizer Jewel 2. For the legs, I'm using the Inga Greaves X with a Steadfast Jewel 1 and Brace Jewel 1. For the Talisman, I'm using the Infamous Quick Sheath Level 2 with two Level 2 slots and I put two Riser Jewel 2s in those slots. In total, that gives us Critical Eye level 7, Attack Boost level 4, Critical Boost level 3, Weakness Exploit level 3, Maximum Might level 3, Quick Sheath level 3, Windproof level 3, Stun Resistance level 3, Speed Sharpening level 3, Wirebug Whisper level 3, and Flinch Free level 1. For those of you who don't have the Quick Sheath level 2 Talisman with two level 2 slots yet, the best way to obtain that Talisman is through Moonbow Melding. The chance of getting that talisman through Moonbow Melding is about 1 in 300. You can only meld 3 talismans per cycle with the Moonbow Melding, so you will have to do about 100 quests before you will obtain this talisman on average. I also have a video on how you can potentially get up to 1000 talismans per hour, so if you're interested in getting a lot of talismans, check out that video. I'll have it linked in the description below. Also as an extra for those of you who want to know what food I like to pair with this build, I like to use Dango Weakner, Dango Booster, and Dango Moxie. All of them have a 100% chance to activate with a Dango ticket. You can also use Hopping Skewers with these Dangos, but keep in mind that it will drop Dango Moxie down to a 50% chance to trigger when you get hit, so it will no longer be 100% reliable on preventing you from fainting. I get a lot of people asking me what my layer armor is, so I'll just put it in this video. For the head, I use the Fox Mask, which is a purchasable piece of DLC layered armor. For the torso, I use a Sailor Suit. For the arms, I use the Brigade Van Braces, which is a piece of high rank layered armor. For the waist, I use a Scholar Skirt. For the legs, I use a Sailor Socks. And you can see which pieces are colored what, right next to their names. If you do not have the Fox Mask, I would recommend using the Baryoth Helm X with the white hair instead, and you can see what it looks like here. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot, and I have more videos like this coming soon.